Romania there were like 4,800 contestants that applied. It's all about helping uh, artists to reach the next level. You know, you have all the best DJs coming here. I think it's going to be tough. We have uh, uh, equal chances. I dare to dream big, and this is my dream, but I'm living right now. For sure, it's a dream of my life, so it's the biggest, biggest dream of my life. Hello, guys. Welcome to Burn Residency 2014. Welcome to Ibiza. I think I can offer something new, uh, something different. Obviously, I'm the only girl. Um, a bit intimidating, but um, I feel good, and I think it's going to be a good advantage for me, you know, bring a little sexy female energy. Who wouldn't want that? I hope you take it serious. You have to introduce yourself by playing a short set to me at Privilege Club. So each one of you is going to play on his regular setup, a 15-minute set. I'm worried about the time to prepare my set since it's just 15 minutes, but uh, I'll try to do my best and get prepared for it. I was shocked. I have to, uh, to prepare everything uh, in a while. I want to have a first impression on their choice of music, on their presence behind the DJ booth. We have to press a lot of tracks into 15 minutes and uh, that's a little difficult, but um, it worked in Denmark, so I hope it will work here as well. We're freaking out. I know it looks really big and intimidating, but don't be nervous. We're Everyone has out. to start somewhere. Today I'm going to introduce you to Pat, who's head of publicity at Privilege. She just told me that Privilege is the actually in the Guinness Book of Records as being the biggest club in the world. Privilege is a club that has been 50 years ya funcionando, 20 con el nombre de Privilege y otros 20 como como Q, que fue un club que fue histórico en Europa. Durante muchos años fue el mayor escenario que había en Europa y por aquí pasaban pues, artistas como Duran Duran o Grace Jones o bueno, Freddie Mercury y, y Montserrat Caballé grabaron aquí eh, la canción mítica de los Juegos Olímpicos de Barcelona. Bull Resident y Privilege eh, van a ser partners seguros en esta historia durante todo el tiempo que la Bull Resident y but nothing like there is today because you know the world's changed so much now um, for, for electronic music and for, for DJ culture and everything like that so I think obviously what Burns offering there was nothing like that when I started no. we all we all do what we love and, and that's the key Charlie Donza I like it very very much it's very individual know how to, where direction to go, but I did, I did what I wanted to do, I did my job. What I'm playing, what I'm doing, that's me, that was me, and that will be me. <laughs> I think all of them are really hungry to show what they can. I think uh, they were not as surprised as we thought, or as we maybe hoped they would be, by already putting them into the first competition uh, exactly after they arrived but uh, I can feel they want to show what they can, they want to go into it. I would like to give only myself. I would like to play my, uh, my best tracks and um, just be myself. It's important to start well and to give uh, a good impression to the mentor. That would be an example for us during the days. Ultimately, it all comes down to their own taste. That's what's going to make the biggest difference um, in terms of their success. It's quite a scary process for some of them, you know, away from home, traveling, being in a competition, worrying so much probably about not being in the competition or failing. So if anything, it's just to try and encourage them to, um, to tell their truth. I'm gonna do what I did in Denmark. I'm gonna start out with deep and then I'm gonna put the energy higher and higher so we, you have a curve that's going more and more energy. His, his music 
for me felt like it had a meaning and some sort of an emotion and it had a bit of a feminine touch to it like it was it was romantic I think I have a whole different taste than everybody so what's in my head is just to do my best and represent for the girls yeah We were all very happy and we were all enjoying and like this, we were even dancing a little, you see. It was really, really fun though. The thing is, um, you definitely have the passion and what I like is that you have your very own style of music, which is perfect because you don't place things that other people tell you which are cool, no, but what I you feel. I from my heart. I, I, I feel really overwhelmed, you know. I've been carrying so much energy. I feel proud of myself. When I play music, I really feel what I'm doing, so I'm really in the vibe, and I always feel happy for it. I'm before playing, I was a little bit nervous when I, but when I start to play, I'm really uh, happy with myself and so okay. Uh, independent from the from the voting that we're gonna announce tomorrow, hopefully, um, I only have noted down some remarks. Okay. The thing is. Um, you're acting very precise, technically okay. perfect, all fine. Mm -hmm. You're trying to entertain, this is fine. Yes. A little smile. smile. Yeah. A little. I know you have to concentrate, you have to focus. I normally smile, but today and I'm like of course. under it's pressure. A, it's a, it's a, yeah, of course, yeah, pressure, yeah. nobody's dancing, people are sitting down, you don't know them. Yeah, I know yeah, them. Yeah. I like that smile. See, yeah, yeah, with this yeah, you yeah. get so, all the ladies and no, all no, the No, no, but I'm, I'm happy when I'm doing this. Perfect. I think I'm happy for myself, but maybe I don't give the smile I usually give because I was under pressure, a judge seeing me, but I'm, I'm really happy, you know, nervous at all, I'm really cool. Well, we just experienced a rare miracle by Japan. Really? Coming to us in 15 minutes. <laughs> he used all the possibilities given. He did tricks with the effect machines and the technical pioneer setup that I never saw in my life before. And uh, the, the room was filling up. Everyone who was tired already came to watch and was watching him Hello. and his uh, crazy energy. So I think he succeeded perfectly. And this is an exceptional um, uh, chance of how to succeed in our competition. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Arigato. Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> Competitions like this, that's the way you can get more exposure. But yeah, I'd be utilising everything that's available now to try and, you know, be where these guys are and get noticed and try and get that residency in a club, try and play wherever. Because I think the most important thing is you can be the best DJ in the world in your bedroom, but if no one hears you, it's, it's pointless, you know, you've got to go out there and play. And once you start playing in clubs, you get the experience of how to read a crowd, how certain records will work. And if you're playing the very start of the night, you don't play all the biggest records. Everything that these guys have now, they should use it as an opportunity, even if they don't win, if they can promote themselves in a certain way. So how do you feel about last night? Do you think you did your best? We all had a lot of fun and so I think it, oh, we're just waiting for final Perfect. announcements. Yeah, well it's coming soon. <laughs> so who do you think did the best? I did I well. <laughs> it's so hard to compare us all. We play different styles, all of us, and uh, who is the better one, it's it's up to the listener. I'm, I'm not here for winning competition and competition and competition. I'm here for to learning, uh, to learn to learn, to learn a lot and to know other people better. So, yeah, what did everyone think of Charlie's music? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I, I definitely don't expect to win this challenge, uh, but it would be uh, would be very nice, to, of course, and I will do my very best as you shall, and uh, that's all I can do. I think I think the best thing is the people that make the most of their gift. You know. If, and it's never been easier to do that. That's the exciting thing about now. Um, if you've truly got a gift for it, um, then it's good. It's good that you sh 
go down that journey and make the most of it. You know, some people might not like it, but... Um, <laughs> But all of them have a, a initial talent. They're all, they're all hungry for success. You can see that, that in the end of the day, you know, they, they, they have a heart for what they're doing. And they all, and they all want to succeed. Why, why wouldn't they? Um, I like to see a little bit more individual style. Um, rather than just basically following a, a, a trend or a fashion in music. Um, I, I really would like to see a more diversity in the sound from all of them um, in some ways. But the thing is, in the end of the day, it's still all about moving the floor, moving the crowd and moving what's happening right now. I think I was played uh, the great set and I hope uh, for a great uh, results. I'm very happy to announce one winner, of course and the which I want to also comment with some sentences. I spoke to all the DJs this morning and they pretty much unanimously thought that Kazuma was the best. And I think that Kazuma played halfway through the set. He, uh, he played with a really high energy level and did some very technical stuff that, that stood out. I think Stiletto is really great. She's got amazing charisma, really great style, perfect stage presence. She can move. I feel like maybe I, I will win. We shall see. <laughs> so the proud winner is... Henrik. Very clear. Congratulations. By far. Definitely. Yeah, you definitely made it with your natural flow. Everything was perfectly in shape by all means. Keep doing that way. Yes. I think the main reason is that, that he has a lot of experience. He, he works with a lot of, a lot of different genres and uh, he can play both uh, uh, underground and, and more commercial stuff. Well, he had the most natural flow, the best selection of music. He presented it in a very natural but positive and charming way. Yes, I'm really, really excited that I won this uh, this first challenge. Um, uh, Philip gave me good criticism afterwards, and um, uh, that that made me feel good. But uh, but later on, there were some other DJs who also played really well. So I was not sure how I was in the in the whole field. So, but it turned out great. Very close to him, by surprise, was our Japanese contestant, Kazuma. Because Japanese are, are always a bit crazy when it comes to technical things. Uh, he used all the skills available and, 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 and possible. Um, and he came very close to that one. I, I'm so sad be, um, because uh, I'm not winner. The, the, the trophy of yesterday's challenge is a choker card that you're going to receive, that you are receiving now. See? So you can use this one. Oh, to nice. stay away from one of the competition, if you want to, but I would recommend you to use it wisely only if you need the time uh, for something else that you are told to work on during the next couple of days. To be honest, I, right now I feel I don't want to skip any, I just want to join all, all the challenges. So, actually, I don't know what it means yet. Two of the contestants in the end sadly didn't fit to our expectations and they didn't succeed with reaching the level that we were looking for. That was uh, Forti from Italy and Dujan from Serbia. You know, sometimes I make a mistake, I stopped the, the wrong player and I just laugh. <laughs> there you go. And I, play, and I play the next one and hope, hopefully there's a record on there that I've chosen. Um, and these things happen and, and, the, and the thing is, if you're completely perfect, there's something wrong with you, <laughs> you're perfect. You have to be some little chink in the armor which makes you human. We're only human at the end of the day, we're not robots, you know, and the mistakes happen. The, the idea when you, when you have a mistake like that is that you try and cover it up as, as quickly as possible and, uh, and move on from it, park it, it's over there, it's done, you know, because you, you can't judge anyone on, on just one fault out of the whole entire set. It's not just about winning, it's been about teaching the contestants what their strong points are and what they need to go home and improve. Miss Soulfly is a really good example of it, the Burn Residency not being about winning. I remember being here on these chairs last year and 
how excited I was. We want to shape people, help them develop, help them come along and find their way. And Mar Marina stepped out of all the contestants last year. I entered top six and I was like, wow, now I want to win this. David Vincent said like, Tommy Kidd. I saw that moment when she was heartbroken or she was very disappointed uh, when she got to know that she didn't uh, uh, proceed in the, in the competition where she fell down on her knees. And then I realized my mistake. I was too, too greedy, you know. I didn't want the residency program, but I was called back anyway. I got a phone call from Olivia, like, hi, are you sitting down? David wants you back. I was like, what? I, don't know, I got goosebumps like 10 times when she was speaking because I had like the same feelings, same kind of emotions and passion and... You need to accept every, every bump, I mean, because life is always going in waves. And even when you're up, you always need to remember the down is coming. I will not change um, what I think about my future. I think that uh, Marina's story is a nice example of what we have to to think about this competition. She used the chance being given in the best way. That's why she got support from Bern and the residency program after the program itself as well. If you believe that if you're gonna play drum and bass throughout your entire career, but you love it, but everyone else don't love it, that's a hard thing to, to deal with. But you know what you're doing is right, and in time it will come around for, for you based on that people will then support what you love. My career didn't really start until 15 years after the time I thought I wanted to do something. And then the name Carl Cox eventually, after 15 years, started to become synonymous with the scene. You can link with people all over the world through music, particularly that's, that's the most endearing thing about electronic music more than any other form, I think. Um, that you can, you, know, you can travel all over the world and find like-minded souls kind of thing, so. It is much easier to play music now than it was before because a lot of the music now has music structure. So you have a beginning, middle and an end and you can loop or sample any of those points. I've got loads and loads of MIDI controls at home. Um, but every one of them has something special and this one has too because of the... You can, uh, you can tilt it and, uh, and make the effects uh, in a different way. Um, I see a lot of DJs here on the island that are using Tractor now. Um, so it was, it was quite surprising that there was only a couple that had used Tractor before. Okay. Well, the thing is, I mean, we had only the opportunity to do what we do with the vinyl at the time, there was nothing else. And uh, the development of CDs and then the development of the computer, well, this was a development of something which changed the face of, of DJing. It basically opens up all creative possibilities. You know, if there's something that you can think of when, in terms of DJing, then, you know, chances are you can do it with Tractor. Uh, it doesn't limit you both in terms of what you can do with the hardware, but also the hardware itself. You can create a setup which is exactly tailored to what you want to do with it. And they were given an hour to work with unfamiliar equipment and uh, unfamiliar software for most of them. So it was uh, an exercise in quick thinking. So they expect now to play another set regular such as yesterday, but what they do not know is that we're gonna really mess up the plan. Can you please take out the USB stick? One each only. So what I want you is to put the USB stick in here. Of course. <laughs> they will actually receive a USB stick from someone they don't know with tracks they don't know at all. I want to test how, how they act on this and how um, uh, passionate they are about the situation in general. I cannot wait because uh, for the first challenge I wasn't quite sure and uh, I want to prove that uh, my place is here. My heart went I was like, oh my god! When I try to mix that, the BPMs are like going like crazy, up and down. I got some problem with CD player. I took absolutely the wrong music for me. I was a little bit disappointed that some really didn't know the basics about the setup. Kill me. And I'm curious what the future will bring. It's quite difficult to play other music that you haven't heard before.